Welcome back everybody, this is the Mad Selby coming to you with the new Super Mario Bros. Wonders Direct. They are going to take a look at everything. Let's go and look into this! Ooh, so exciting. Stop talking to me, Welcome freaking to flowers, you and your I'm damn magic mushrooms! The mushroom kingdom. I, I obviously am like, here by the benevolent prince going insane here. I, I'm tripping on some fucking mushrooms right now. Just a single touch of the mysterious wonder flower. Oh, now we got a giant Koopa castle. With Prince Florian's castle. Oh well, that that's a new that's a new enemy. Oh shit, this makes it a, a lot tougher, a lot tougher. Uh, something tells me that's not gonna help. Nope, not gonna help. They're all Koopa castles. Oh, okay, so that's what you're gonna have to do. Those are the Koopa castles you're gonna have to go after. Okay, that makes sense. Come on, Mario and friends! Stop Bowser, goddammit! Do it now! Do it now! In this presentation, we'll go over what's new in Mario's latest 2D side-scrolling adventure. What is new? What is new? Let's jump in. Okay, the Flower Kingdom is is all new. That's good. It's made up of six distinct worlds that circle the Petal Isles, making a total of seven areas to explore. Oh, nice! Seven areas, kind of like how Yoshi's Island was doing it for me. Once you get past the freezing fluff, fluff peaks. I love the I love the crazy, goofy little names they got there. But you stole the guy's shell. Why? Why did you steal a shell? Poor guy was just trying to do his stuff. You know what I mean? Just trying to live his life. Don't steal a shell. Through caves at the heart of the Flower Kingdom, the Petal Isles. Mario, you're, you're evil. Mario, you're evil. You're more evil than I would imagine. You're stealing its freaking shell. Oh, that's nice. Hey, they're, 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 the, the enemies are right there with you. They're right there with you. You can even walk freely through open areas you find. In these spaces, if you're not quite ready to take on a particular course, you can try a different one instead. Oh, well, that's good. I mean, that's 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 new, isn't it? Didn't they not let you do that before? It's an easy way to find the ones you want to play again. Wow, I didn't know they could do that. Replayability, and you can decide which ones you do. I mean, of course, you have to do all of them in order to pass, but still, it's nice. Talking flowers. That really tells me that Mario is on some trippy, trippy stuff, man. Stop wondering, you damn flower! I can get over there if I want to. Stop asking me weird questions. You know I'm Mario. You know I've done this before. Stop asking me weird questions. Peach, Daisy, Daisy. One of two toads. Two toads. Hey, there's Toadette too. go with your favorite or mix it up. Might as I mean there there might be oh. On the other hand, won't take damage. They're a great choice if you're looking for a more easygoing experience. Ah, so this is like for the for the for the intention. Ah, okay. So you can still die, but you get a lot less damage when you're Yoshi or the rabbit or the rabbits. For like when uh, kids, Th that's good. Or me, I mean children or me, who's who's not really good at this stuff. Melon piranha plants will spit seeds from their mouths. Hey, that reminds me of Yoshi's Island with with. Oh, nice. When Kongs attack, they'll even plow through goo. Really? So that's goop you're in. I thought that was just like weird sewage. Mamas will eat anything that comes too close to their gaping mouths. Jesus Christ! Plenty more new enemies for you to discover as well. Goombas. Well, that's just the usual ones. Those are the usuals. Yep, those are very familiar. New power-ups. Power <laughs> yes! You can still fit in those damn things? Damn. Oh, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need to be the elephant. I'm definitely gonna need to be the elephant. Who knows what might happen? Thank you. That truck sure is useful, huh? It's not just Mario, though. Luigi. Oh, okay. The Toads. Peach, Daisy. Hey, don't don't talk about their weight, though. You do not make fun of a woman's weight. Allows you to blow light, floating bubbles. Ooh. They can be used to capture and defeat enemies from a distance. Oh, that, that's that's actually very useful. You can take care of enemies surrounding you in one go. Defeat typically impervious foes and knock out baddies on the other side of walls. Oh my goodness, it's gonna be that 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 is like very meta right there. Oh, you can bounce on them too. That's really fucking. Oh god, they, they, those are new little. Cha oh, now you can have a drill head. New little challenges, new little things you can do to benefit yourself. Or hard-headed enemies of breeze. Oh okay. You can use it to drill down. Um. Oh wow. I'm sure not every level is going to have that, but that's still a very awesome um, new mechanic for that. 
But I'm, I'm positive the world isn't gonna, all worlds are gonna have that. Oh, and you can hang on to an extra power up. Oh, you can, oh yes, 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 kind of like how Yoshi's, Yoshi's Island and all those did it. No, I think it was Super Mario World where you can hold one extra. Oh my god, the trippy flowers! Now, this is where Sativa comes in. This is where, like, you're on Datura and stuff. Oh god, you're on, you're on the special wacky flower now. This is where where Mario gets you high. Well, that looks very... Yes, you are high. That's pretty much... They're, they're saying it without saying it. You're freaking high without saying you're high. Just tell me, just tell me Mario's is an, on LSD or something, and that'll make me happier. Or you might float through space. Yep. Just tell me he's on. Look, just tell me you you put you put LSD in the game, and I'll be happy. All right. Stop lying to me with this weird wonder flower. It's freaking LSD, or it's sativa, or it's one of those like Datura things. It's like peyote. You're on fucking peyote now or something. Some courses need to be unlocked using the wonder seeds you've collected. Oh! Oh, interesting. You'll also earn a wonder seed as thanks from a poplin when you clear a course. Ah, poplins! Those aren't like toads anymore, they're poplins. Okay. And you get badges. Something I'm never gonna get. I'm not gonna do well at this part. I guarantee you. I guarantee! I'm not gonna be doing so well there. Variety of badges, each with its own special ability. Let's go over some of them. Slow your fall with a parachute. Oh, okay. I think that's probably from Mario Sunshine, is it? Or one of those darn things? Oh, nice. Unleash a burst of speed while underwater by equipping the dolphin kick badge. Ah, okay. There's there are actually little benefits. All right. Charge up a bounding leap. There are games that do that as well. Shoot vines in midair and stick to walls with a grapple. I mean, besides them now. Recover from dangerous drops instantly with a safety bounce badge. Oh. Easily find important. That's gonna be useful for me. Draw in nearby Mula with a coin magnet badge. Become invisible oh God. to your enemies and yourself with the invisibility badge. You oh, that's gonna, that's gonna, ooh, uh, that's that's really gonna mess me up. Run in the air for a bit. There are many more badges with different abilities, from the convenient to the unconventional. Oh, that's nice. That's very nice. Equip them from the world map, or when starting a course. Or if you don't make it through, grab a different badge and try again. Ah, okay. Can be earned by clearing special badge challenge courses. I'm not gonna be able to do that. I'm gonna be struggling with those damn courses. I can guarantee you. I guarantee you I'm gonna be struggling with those damn courses. I guarantee. I guarantee. Four. Nice. Local co-op. Another player reaches them before time runs out, they'll jump right back into action. That's like the, the new Super Mario Brothers U, I believe. That's like new Super Mario Brothers. You can jump on their back. Except instead they used to be in a bubble. Now they're ghosts. Yoshi riding a Yoshi. That does not look inappropriate at all. Having a big elephant ride a Yoshi does not look inappropriate at all. These are people from around the world enjoying the game in real time, appearing as live player shadows. Oh, that's kind of cool. If you're defeated, you can come back to life by bumping into a live player shadow. Oh, that's very nice. Players can send greetings. And share that's worldwide. That that, that is new. I don't know how their their servers are going to be able to deal with it, but that's actually pretty cool. You can also place a standee in a course. Standees can revive ghosts, so place them in not so easy areas and help your fellow players. Oh, nice! You can purchase standee surprises from the poplin shops to add more to your collection. You never know which standee you'll get. When you come into contact with an online player or their standee, you'll see their username and heart points. These points show how much they've helped other players on their adventure. Oh, Reviving that's cool! Items. Cool! The goal pull together and more will earn you heart points. That's awesome. While playing online, you also have the option of creating a room to get together with friends. Damn, they, they added so much playability with friends. That is really good. They, it's, it's really good that they're doing that. Then make a run for it. They even have races in there. That's awesome. Reaching the goal pole isn't the only way to finish a race, though. In some courses, you'll need to grab a wonder seed or defeat a boss instead. It's basically like the tournaments that people do with like Mario Maker and stuff like that. You can enhance your experience with online play. That actually looks very awesome. They've added so so much variety to this game. It's not just a simple Super Mario game. They've added a lot of different um, gameplay aspects, a lot of multiplayer aspects to it. I like it. I like what they're doing with it.
I just wish they would have made a new freaking Switch by now to take advantage of new stuff. When Super Mario Brothers Wonder launches on the Nintendo Switch system October 20th. October 20th. A new Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition is also on the way. Nice. You'll find Mario and some hidden coins. Oh, very nice. Nintendo Switch OLED model Mario Red Edition launches October 6th. So that is very awesome. Let me know what you think down below. I'm looking forward to seeing people play this. I don't have a Switch myself, but I kind of want one now because I want to play online with all of you and just like make mayhem. That's what I want to do. So thank you so much for watching this. This is the Mad Salvi, of course, coming to you with another one, a Nintendo Direct. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will be here to talk to you down below if you want to talk about this. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.